What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs and welcome to Sailor Senshi News Network. I love it. I love how that name just rolls off the tongue. Today I have a whole bunch of news that happened over the weekend in regards to Sailor Moon. So let's go ahead and jump right into the news for today, which is Monday, May 17th. First off, I saw this posted by one of the lovely ladies I follow on Instagram. Her name is Sailor Bratzilla. She posted that EMS is returning on June 1st to the United States. Y'all, I cannot tell you how excited I am that we will have EMS again. So EMS is kind of like the middle ground in terms of expense and speed, but they are also highly reliable and the products in the packaging is always really, really nicely secured and everything gets here rather quickly. So if I'm given the option for EMS, I always choose EMS. For the past year, I've been using Surface. I also tried DHL and FedEx as well as Small Packet Airmail. Small Packet Airmail was fine, except it wasn't tracked. Surface Mail took like three plus months, which is ridiculous, and I hated it. I hate it so much. And then DHL and FedEx are super expensive. So if I can choose EMS, which is very much in that middle ground, I will gladly, gladly do so. So I am very happy that it's finally coming back to us. Honestly, this is the sign that I needed from the universe telling me that this nightmare of a year is ending soon and I'm so happy that things are returning to normal. This is wonderful news. Okay, moving on, we do have some merch updates for both United States as well as internationally coming out of Japan. So the first piece of news premiered, I believe this was on Thursday or maybe it was on Friday that they posted this. We have a couple of stand multi cases that are coming out on premium Bandai starting May 14th, so they're already out. Shipping is scheduled for September of 2021. Both of these cases cost 39.60 yen each, so a little less than 40 USD, and they come in two different colors. There's either a light pink color or the navy blue color. So these are designed around Sailor Moon Eternal with the pink one being based off of Eternal Sailor Moon and navy is for the four outer senshi. This is supposed to be for storing your desktop goods like notepads, pens and pencils, washi tapes, anything small that you would normally leave on a desk. This is supposed to be an organizer that can stand upright on top of your desk and easily organize all those goodies. The outer dimensions of it are 290 by 210 by 80 millimeters. The inner dimensions are 280 by 205 by 50 millimeters. So basically a B5 size notebook will fit comfortably in the innermost pocket. The very front pocket has a zipper, which is also very convenient for all those little items like your washi tape again. And they also have three removable partitions, which I thought was really cool. So you can attach them in any position, just kind of depending on whatever you want to put in there. They mention it's great for moving from a conference room or working from home because you can just like slip this thing underneath your hand and carry it next to your side to wherever you need to go. It's also fully zippered, which is lovely. There looks to be a little metal icon on the front. And if you look at the illustrations on the Sailor Moon official website, we have a new picture of Eternal Sailor Moon, which looks like it's based off a manga picture and I will show you the manga picture so you can compare them side by side. It is so pretty. We also have a little illustration of the outer Sailor Senshi. I'm not sure if that one is new or not. It doesn't look new but I did want to point that out because I was like ooh I've never seen that. What is this Sailor Moon Eternal illustration? It's so pretty. So since this is on Premium Bandai's website you would have to use a Japanese address or a proxy to order it. I'm most likely just going to use from Japan to purchase it since that's usually what I use for premium Bandai products. All right, moving on, we have a little more information about the Blu-rays and DVDs which are being released in Japan. The release date for those is June 30th. The news that we got from SailorMoonOfficial.com basically just says the details of the contents for the first limited editions have been lifted. So we now know what the bonus items are going to be. So there's going to be an audio commentary. There's also some music involved and one of the limited edition bonuses also comes with a special booklet. There's also a couple of bonus options for Pretty Guardians as well as the King eShop. Those ones come with acrylic figure sets. So if you're a Pretty Guardian fan club member in Japan, you can get an acrylic figure set of the inner 
Senshi. And if you order it through King eShop, you can get a acrylic figure set of Chibi Moon and the Outer Senshi. So kind of interesting that they have different ones there. And given the cost of the Blu-ray sets, there's absolutely no way I would purchase both of them because they are over $150 for the entire Blu-ray set. Either or. So if you wanted to purchase both of them and get all of the acrylic sets, you'd be spending around $300, <laughs> which I feel like is a little excessive for buying a movie on Blu-ray, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I might just have to look for those bonus items online after they, after they appear. I will put a link down below where you can pre-order the Sailor Moon Blu-ray and you can choose between a whole bunch of different Japanese websites. There's Evil Line, Amazon Japan, Animate, Animate Bookstore, Rakuten, and Tower Records. Tower Records has some really fun stores in Tokyo. I cannot wait to go back in one of those stores and just like listen to random Japanese music. It'll be so much fun. Speaking of visiting Tokyo, uh, there is a Harajuku Sailor Moon store, if you didn't know about it. It opened a few years ago. Um, it's awesome. Highly recommend any Sailor Moon fans go there if you haven't already. They are reopening. They were closed for a while because of the state of the world, uh, but they are reopening on May 17th in case you are in the area. Oh, hey, that's today. So they are reopening today if you want to go visit. <laughs> Okay, now for the news that everybody has been freaking out about over the weekend, and I'm I'm myself quite excited and I might want to get all of the things. There is a new Ichiban Kuji, and it is based off of Bishoujo Senshi, Sera Moon Eternal, go figure, and it's a princess collection. And they are including brand new illustrations of the princess forms of the Sailor Senshi. So we get to see all sorts of new princesses and it is so beautiful and I'm so excited. So this is releasing in November 2021. So it's coming out in several months. It's a theatrical version. So again, this is like Sailor Moon Crystal for Sailor Moon Eternal. And this is all of the Sailor Senshi dressed as princesses. There's also a figure. So prize A for this Ichiban Kuji is a princess serenity figure. It looks like she, somebody on my Instagram said it looked like she was sitting on a toilet. And I was like, it's a fancy Japanese toilet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, girl. Sit on that toilet. But she's, it looks like she's sitting on a column, like a column from a castle, if you will. But it, I mean, in passing, it kind of does look like she's sitting on a toilet. So that's prize A. It's a 3D figure. There's also a last one Princess Serenity figure, which looks exactly the same, except she has different coloring. So she will have a pearly pearlescent coloring applied to her hair and her dress, which is definitely one I'm going to go after. I'm very excited. If this is anything like a previous Ichiban Kuji, where there was a figure as prize A and a last one prize and it was a different color, um, the last one prize now goes for over a thousand dollars on eBay, which is absolutely nuts given the price of the tickets to get into this lottery for these prizes. So I feel like the last one prize for this Princess Serenity is also going to go for a lot of money. So I'll go through the other prizes real quick. There's a prize B that's a clear illustration board. That's the one that you can see here. Prize D is a glass collection plate and there are several different plates that you can collect. Prize F is a clear file set. Again, several different ones that you may win. Prize G is an acrylic stand. There's one for each of the princesses, again. And all of those are newly drawn illustrations. So every single time you get a ticket to turn in and get one of these rewards, which you will randomly get, you don't know what you're going to get until you actually go into one of the convenience stores and get one of these tickets. Uh, they are 680 yen each for each drawing. I usually just grab Ichiban Kuji items aftermarket through Mercari or eBay or Mandorake, because I generally don't want everything in the Ichiban Kuji, and I don't feel like offering somebody payment for tickets because I don't want randomly selected items, which is another option you can do. If you do want to see a full walkthrough of how you can get Ichiban Kuji items, let me know. I'm more than happy to do a tutorial walkthrough of that since I do have some experience with purchasing these items. Also, if you have not seen it yet, Ichiban Kuji does have a website that you can go to to see uh, what looks like a high resolution image of all of the prizes. So you can really, really check out the clear files, the illustration board. You can check out all the plates and see that each of those is different and you can kind of get a 
better glimpse of the pearlescent last one prize, so I definitely recommend checking out the Ichiban Kuji website. Ichiban Kuji also has an Instagram, so show them some love. We gotta let them know that we really appreciate getting all of these amazing packages of really cute Sailor Moon drawings from these convenience stores, so show Ichiban Kuji some love over on Instagram. I'm definitely going to. Okay, moving on, we have some United States news. First off, Box Lunch. They have this cute ramen set. I haven't seen it before. Maybe it's already been there. It might have already been there and I just never noticed it. But it's really cute. It has all of the Sailor Senshi icons on it for the inner Sailor Senshi. And it comes with a pair of chopsticks. I have a similar ramen bowl. And they are made really well. And they're quite large. So they're really good for ramen and other soups that you might want to put in there. So I did want to mention that it's currently on sale for $15.92. However, the MSRP is $19.90. Super cute. Also, Hot Topic has a couple of new merchandise options online, and these are really cute too. There's a Sailor Scouts Pastel Tie-Dye Girls Tank Top. It's currently in stock from extra small up to extra large. Unfortunately, 2X and 3X are currently out of stock. They might come back in stock. We will definitely keep an eye on that. But this is a cute tank top. Of course, you gotta like tie-dye. I'm kind of sick of tie-dye at this point, uh, but if you are into tie-dye, it's definitely an option. There's also a brand new hoodie, which I definitely wanted to mention as well. This is a black hoodie and it is two-sided. On one side, we have an image of Sailor Moon and it says Sailor Moon in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. On the other side, it says in the name of the moon, I'll punish you just with a crescent moon. So this hoodie is currently 20% off, but the MSRP is $44.90 up to $46.90 it looks like. And it is in stock from extra small up to 2X. This one is listed in men's sizes, while the shirt that I had mentioned is listed in junior sizes. Also, Ochiba Wolf. Sailor Moon News and Merchandise over on Facebook. She found a couple of new tank tops from Hot Topic in stores, which are not currently online yet. There's both a men's one, which has a whole bunch of different colored splotches and it's black in color. And then it has the inner Sailor Senshi on the front. We also have a another tie-dye tank top that is a women's tank top and this has the Sailor Moon logo as well as the inner Sailor Senshi and this one also has Luna. It looks like they are the exact same illustration on the men's and the women's tank tops but you do have different colored tank tops in case you want to go for one or the other. So we don't see those online quite yet but I'm going to keep an eye out for it because I do like that women's tank top. It looks really cute. So that's about it for the Sailor Moon news for Monday, May 17th. I hope you enjoyed it. I do feel like Mondays are going to be kind of top heavy when it comes to news because I don't work on the weekends so I also don't do any filming on the weekends. I like to take a break and spend some time with my family and spend some time with my own cat Luna. But let me know down below if there's anything in particular that I mentioned today that you would like to see me review on the channel in the future and also let me know if you are enjoying this newsy content. Luckily in our Sailor Moon community we do have several different outlets for news. We have have some international outlets as well as a couple of folks here in the United States that are getting news out to you so whether you are on YouTube or you're on Facebook or you're on Twitch or Instagram or you just like RSS or you like podcasts there are several different options for news and I'm really happy to see that our community comes together in this way and likes to get that information out to you no matter what outlet you choose. I also had another idea for a video series that I could do on this channel with regards to Sailor Moon and I think it would be really fun to do because I would probably bring in one of my friends to do it with me. I'm still noodling on the idea so I'm not going to like publicly disclose that idea quite yet but just putting the idea out there that there is there are things this channel is growing so I do have ideas and I'm super happy to be getting back into it. I also have a huge giveaway happening on the channel coming up probably later this week so keep an eye on the YouTube channel as well as my Instagram because it will be a two social media giveaway and I'm very excited about it. Don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, Janae.